This is FYI on your TV brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I have got Adriana Michelle back with me. Thanks for joining us again. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. I think you're one of my most regular regulars here on FYI. Yeah. <laughs> I think so, yes. <laughs> uh, you really are. You really are. Now, we're going to talk. It is April. April is Organ Donation Awareness Month, and uh, you, you've been through quite the journey, twice, and yes. we're going to talk a little bit about that. We we're, we usually talk about different things uh, when you and I talk on a monthly basis about mental health and, and self-care, that sort of thing, but we're going to talk about this, too, which is something near and dear, uh, pardon the pun, to your heart, <laughs> to our hearts, yes. <laughs> Yeah, so for sure it is, yes. Yeah. So I um, I was born with a bunch of um, like multiple different um, heart diagnosis. Um, and so I started having surgeries at two days old. And by eight months old, I had four heart surgeries. And then I was listed for a heart transplant. Um, and back then, in from 98 until 2000, uh, I was waiting on a, on a heart transplant. Um, and I did receive that heart on August 15th, 2000. Um, and that heart really gave me the gift of childhood. Um, and so when I was 19, I went into cardiogenic shock. That left my heart very damaged. Um, I ended up having an impella put in through my groin. Um, and then I was on a, I was in a coma for eight days. I woke up, I couldn't walk. I had to learn how to walk, feed myself, all of the basic things that were, you know, we, we learn at a toddler stage. Um, so that was definitely difficult for me. Um, but it wasn't as difficult as hearing that I had to have another transplant. Um, so I waited for another transplant and, you know, with the second transplant, the odds are much, much slimmer um, of survival because there's so much scar tissue already. Um, and for me, I had a lot of things stacked against me. I had my body size, my blood type, my antibodies. And with that combination, I only had a 15% um, chance at finding a heart. Um, and so receiving that heart in 2019, uh, where on Friday, it'll be three years since that transplant. Um, and so we'll be celebrating for sure. Um, but I was able to get um, my second heart transplant. And during the wait, um, you know, if you're in the area, I'm sure you know Adrian's army by now. Um, you know, so we did lots and lots of organ donation awareness um, because my odds of survival um, were extremely slim to none. Um, and so for me, Adria's Army was something that it gave me something that I could work on. It was positive. And even if I left this earth, it was something that it could be carried on um, for my legacy. Um, but thankfully, I. I made it and I'm able to do all the work for it. Um, and so, you know, Adria's Army, we really focus on just spreading the importance of organ donation awareness. Um, you know, unfortunately, every three days on the waiting list, someone passes away. Um, and that's like strictly due to not receiving an organ in time. Um, and unfortunately, um, when I was waiting on my transplant, one of my uh, dear friends did pass away. Um, due to that. Um, and so I think, you know, that's given me such a drive, even more of a drive, um, you know, to pursue organ donation. It's such a, such a passion of mine now. Um, and like you say, it's definitely close to my heart. Um, but, you know, just being able to show people that organ donation works, and it is one hell of a process to go through. Um, you know, it tests you physically, mentally, emotionally, you know, every, every fiber of your body is fighting to stay alive. Um, and, you know, organ donation is that thing where it comes and everything is like, it's like a light switch change. Um, you know, obviously the recovery is much, much longer. Um, and, you know, you, the mental recovery of it, you know, not everything is a light switch, but you'll start to see your levels turning around in your blood work and different tests and things coming back. Um, I remember the Christmas right before I got my transplant. So this would have been Christmas of 2018. Um, I had an appointment and they had said, you know what, like at this 
point, we just need to keep you comfortable. I was assigned home care. Um, and we're now three years out. Um, and I have just recently gotten the results that my heart is in pristine condition. Um, and all of my levels have never been better. Um, and so just even the gift of hearing that is so overwhelming and emotional um, because, you know, for so long, you're told you're going to die. Um, your odds aren't looking very good. You're getting sicker and sicker. We need to keep you comfortable. Um, and, you know, just all of this negative outcomes. Um, and so when you get the heart and you get to live, um, that's a whole other healing process on its own. Um, so the transplant journey in general is definitely oh, hopefully a once in a lifetime experience, but in my case, it has been too. That's right, um, that's right. And I mean, you're talking about your commitment right now to making uh, people aware of organ donation. You were doing it in 2019, even before 2019, you were doing it then when you were told yeah. you may not make it, uh, let's just make you comfortable. You were doing that. And I, I'm gonna, I, I gotta say three years ago, you were supposed to be here on FYI. You were yes. supposed to come here on Organ Donation <laughs> Month and do an FYI when you were so yeah. sick and you didn't think you were going to make it. Yeah. And you were supposed to be here that morning and I got a text from a good friend that you and I have, Tammy Carpenter, and yes. you, you were supposed to be here and you texted her <laughs> and said, can you please tell Kathy I'm not coming today, I, I've got my new heart, I'm on my way to the hospital. You texted yeah. us here at FYI on the way to the hospital to get your new heart. I. Just, you know what? I have printed that out and it's up in my office, actually. You know, it's like, I, it means so much to me that you thought of us during your journey of, of getting another heart and, and you weren't doing well and you were on your way here, but you got the call and you absolutely. went to the hospital. So you are so committed to this. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, you know, it was funny. I was messing around on TikTok the other day um, just because I was having such, um, I'd say, a bad transplant day. And it's a day where, like, you feel the survivor's guilt, the survivor's remorse, and I know you and I have talked about this before. Um, you feel the PTSD kicking in, and you know, as I'm going into organ donation month, I'm prepping myself with what, what statistics are out there right now, and you know, just to see the numbers and feel so overwhelmed because knowing I was in that exact position just three years ago, and you know, unfortunately, COVID has definitely impacted um you know the way transplants are done now um i'm not gonna get into it but just you know i'm so grateful that i was able to receive my heart when i did um because had it have been in the past few years i really don't think i would have gotten a heart um and so you know it's just it's so important to spread the awareness of it and how important it is um and if you don't mind i wouldn't mind going over a couple statistics absolutely right you've, you've got some statistics there um, so right now, I love to break down um, by age group. So the oldest transplant that's been done uh, has actually been in a 95-year-old woman. Um, so, you know, there's no age, you know, you're never too old to be an organ donor. That's what I like to say. Um, and so um, right now, so the children's, okay, so this is people under 17 years old. There is 19 in Ontario right now. Um, and so a lot of those kids would be in Sick Kids right now. Um, Sick Kids is an incredible hospital. That's where I went. Um, but it's it's a world-renowned hospital, really, because um, you know, everybody in Canada, sometimes from other places in the world, head to Toronto um, for a transplant, just like the Heart Institute in Ottawa. It's a world-renowned hospital. Um, so people from Newfoundland, like transplants aren't even done um, in Newfoundland. Um, so all the Newfoundlanders come down to Ottawa uh, to receive their transplants. And so I think that's really important to know because you know, it's one thing for me to be an hour away from the hospital, um, but you know, to be provinces away from right. your home and having to possibly stay at that hospital, that is, such a difficult thing to go through. Um, and thankfully, you know, there's residents in Ottawa, there's the McDonald, uh, Ronald McDonald House in Toronto and Ottawa for Chio. Um, and those places are so important um, because that's where, that's where families really get a little taste of home 
when they're going through such difficult things. Um, and so right now in Ontario, um, when I researched this earlier, it was saying that there was over 1,600 um, people waiting uh, for an organ transplant in Ontario right now. However, um, what's in front of me, and this is from um, Trillium Gift of Life, there is 1,481 people waiting for an organ right now. Yeah. So it was around 1,600 when I was waiting. Um, and, you know, I think one thing we have to remember is that we have had a virus that has taken out a lot of immune compromised people. Um, but also, you know, people die every three days on the list. So that is such what I really want to get across is that people literally die every three days because an organ donor is not available. That's right. And, you know, it's really such, it's a gift of life. <laughs> I mean. That's right. It's so important to sign your card, to sign your, you, you register and sign your card. Yes, for sure. Yep. That's right. Yeah, mostly right. everything's online now, thankfully. Yes. Uh, so it's quite easy to do. You can do it in literally two minutes. Um, so two minutes and you save someone's life. Absolutely. Um, Someone like you. Another story. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Um, a story I really love is that my transplant mentor, so she, she passed away three years ago. Um, you know, actually her anniversary was just a few um, days ago, but she went through a heart transplant and her transplant was very, um, there was a lot of key elements to it that didn't make it an easy transplant for her. Um, however, when she passed away, she was able to be an organ donor. And I think that just absolutely blows my mind. She donated her eyes, her tendons, and I believe skin grafts. Yeah. Um, and that is, I think that's just so important because, you know, for me, I'm like, oh my goodness, like I've been through so much, like I can't be an organ donor and yet I, I advocate for it. So hearing that really gave me so much hope um, that, you know, potentially someday, God forbid something happened, I can save someone else's life. And I think that that's just, it's it's an incredible feeling to be someone's oh goodness, hero. It, it, it goes full it, circle. Absolutely. 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 Oh. I so appreciate I, I, I so appreciate our time together here. You know, on FYI, we talk about so many things, but to listen to your story again, it's like I'm hearing it for the first time. And <laughs> I just so appreciate it, yeah. and, and uh, you're, you're sharing it with everybody. How important it is to to uh, make sure you register to be a donor and, and save somebody's life. There's a lot of people waiting in Ontario right now, so. I thank you very much for joining us again this month on FYI, Adriana. Thank you for joining us, and uh, thank God for you. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. And if anyone's wanting to follow along um, my journey, you can like Adriana's Army on Facebook. That's where all of the organ donation, you know, stuff is. Um, and I would love, I, I appreciate the support so, so much. And I appreciate other people helping get the word out of the importance along with Adrian's Army. So thank you so much to all of our supporters over the years. I'm truly so grateful. Thank you, Adriana.